one of Fantastical's killer features is the ability to easily and quickly create new events and reminders with just your keyboard. Let me show you how. So, for example, let's say I've got a conference call tomorrow with Butterworth Stavely, a friend of mine. And let's say it's at 10 a.m. So you can see as I was typing that in, Fantastic Hal was parsing through that text and figuring out what everything meant. Uh, I'm typing this on March 10th, so it said tomorrow is March 11th. And when I wrote 10 a.m., it put the time in. And this is great. I mean, if you just figure out this much of Fantastic Hal, you're going to be really set. But there's, there's a lot more you can do with it. For instance, notice how it put these dotted lines around Butterworth Stavely. If I go ahead here and select that, I can go ahead and add an invite. So an invite will automatically go out to Butterworth. And let's say that this call is not going to be an hour. It's going to be 27 minutes because Butterworth is very particular. All right, so I just typed in 27 minutes, and it fixed that as well. Let's also say that I want to add an alarm because I need to prepare for that call. So I'll type alarm 30, and 30 minutes before, I'll get an alarm to prepare for that call. Um, let's also say that instead of the Max Sparky calendar, this goes on my personal calendar. So I'm going to go ahead and, and hit space slash P for personal, and the calendar switched to personal. If I went back to M, it would go to Max Sparky. I'm going to go back to P, and you can see it'll go back to personal again. So very quickly, using just my keyboard, I was able to create a pretty detailed event. In fact, let me do one more thing. I'm going to go here, and let's say that Butterworth is on the East Coast. I'm going to type EST. So... Uh, because Fantastic Hal has time zone support, it's going to realize that's an Eastern time. And when I create this event, it's going to show up on my calendar because I'm on the West Coast at 7 a.m. Uh, there's an additional set of features here. If you type on this down arrow, you can see if there's anything else you missed. I can add a URL or notes if I want. But this looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter or tap Add Event. And I just created that event for tomorrow. And in fact, if you look at it, you can see that it is set for 7 a.m., uh, tomorrow. Fantastic Al 2 also got really good at repeating events. So let's say I want to do a family game night. And we'll do that 7 to 9 p.m. on the second Saturday of, whoops, of the month. All right, and you can see it created an event that will show up on the second Saturday of the month. But what if I change that to second Saturday of every month? And you can see it just animated out. It created a repeating event that's going to put this family game night on the second Saturday of every month. Let's have a little bit more fun with this. There's a website I like that I go to to find new board games. It's called BoardGameGeek.com. When I type that in, Fantastic Al 2 automatically parses it out as a website and includes it under the website setting. So I don't even have to manually enter that. And finally, I'm going to put that on my personal calendar and add event. That URL trick, by the way, works in both uh, events and tasks. So there you have it. I just made a repeating event using just text. And if I scroll down here to Saturday, you'll see there it is, family game night for this Saturday. If I go to April and look at the first set or the second Saturday of April, you'll see it shows up there as well. Fantastic Hal also has support for reminders, and you can create those also with a keyboard. For instance, I can say, remind me to buy pickled herring. You can see that it automatically detected this was a reminder item because I said remind me to buy. Um, you could also do that with the word to do. So I could say, so if I delete that, it's going to become an event. But if I type to do at the beginning, it's automatically going to turn that into a task. And you could also do it, and this is kind of a cool trick. Uh, the keyboard combination for a check mark is option V. So if you use that option V, it creates that as a to-do item as well. So I'm going to say, buy pickled herring. I'm going to go ahead and fix the capitalization because I'm that anal retentive, and I've got it done. There's a couple other things you can do with the keyboard. For instance, you can say, on Saturday. And it's automatically going to go through and parse and put that on Saturday. Uh, you can also change the reminder list. For instance, I have a market list. So if I type slash M, it switches from reminders to market. Let me go back to R. 
and then M. You can see how that works. Um, you can also add a URL if I want. If I could just add the type in the website and it would show up automatically. I just showed you how to do that with the repeating reminders. Uh, if you click on the down arrow, you can add the URL that way. You can add notes. And this location piece is real important too. You can add a location so it can give you a reminder when you're leaving a place or you're arriving at a place. For instance, I could put arriving at and then type in the um, location of my local grocery store and then when I showed up it would remind me to buy pickled herring. So as you can see Fantastical 2 has great support for reminders. If you spend just a little bit of time getting good at adding calendar events and reminders with your keyboard in Fantastical, you are never going to go back. There's just no faster way to quickly add events and reminders. You can learn more about Fantastical 2 at flexibits.com.